In this video, we're going to look at economies of scope and then do a numerical example. So economies of scope uh, occurs when it is less costly to produce two types of goods jointly than producing each good separately. So for example, it is cheaper to produce baseball bats and softball bats in one factory than producing each type of bat in a separate factory. Having two factories may mean an unnecessary duplication of many production inputs. So here we have a firm, a multi-product firm, that produces two types of goods. Uh, Q subscript 1 and Q subscript 2 represent the different types of goods here. And we want to see if economies of scope uh, occur given this functional form of this cost function. So the firm would like to produce 10 units of good 1 and 14 units of good 2. Do economies of scope exist? So let's first look at the cost of producing these goods together or jointly, perhaps in one factory. So plugging in for Q subscript 110, plugging in for Q subscript 214, and evaluating the cost function, show the work down here, we get a total cost of $1,121. Let's see if it would be cheaper to produce these goods in perhaps two separate facilities. So the cost of producing goods separately, we're going to first evaluate this cost function where Q1 is Q subscript 1 is 10 and Q subscript 2 is 0. So we're just going to produce nothing but good 1 in one facility. And doing that, we see the cost is $960. And then we're going to produce the other good, Q subscript 2, in another facility. So in that example, Q subscript 1 is 0, Q subscript 2 is 14. So plugging in those values of 0 and 14, we see the cost of producing the second good in a separate facility is $1,056. So taken together, the cost of producing good one and good two in separate facilities is $2,016. So clearly it is cheaper to produce both of these goods jointly. Uh, $1,121 is less than 2016 So this firm does have economies of scope. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.